If you've ever gone shopping for a mouse, you'll know that there are a ton of options out there with different shapes, different buttons, different weights. Today, we're going to go over how to choose a mouse that works best for you. Now, one of the first considerations that most people are going to try to figure out when going to buy a new mouse is do you want wired or do you want wireless? Now, in the past, wireless mice were, you know, subpar compared to wired mice uh, due to latency and things like that. But in recent years, wireless mice have become incredible and a lot of them, most of them really are as fast, if not some of them are even faster than a typical wired mouse. I personally don't feel the need to have a wireless gaming mouse. My gaming mouse is wired, but I do have wireless mice for things like my laptop and the mouse that I use on my streaming computer because I like moving that around my desk and not being uh, constricted to a certain area. But, you know, it's all up to personal preference. If you feel like you want a wireless mouse, go ahead and do that. If you want a wired mouse, go and do that as well. So there are three potential downsides of a wireless mouse. One, you gotta keep it charged. Most mice are designed in a smart way where you can use it while it's charging. So that's great. There are some mice that are not designed as well that you cannot use while they're being charged. So keep it in mind. The second is gonna be weight. If weight is a factor for you that you care about. Um, some people really like ultralight mice. Some people like heavier mice. So if you want a heavier mouse, wireless is great because the battery adds a lot of weight there are ultralight wireless mice but you do pay a premium on those and they're not as common and that leads into the third downside which is the price typically a wireless mouse is going to be more expensive than a wired mouse so but if you're willing to pay that premium for the freedom of having wireless then go ahead and the obvious one big downside of a wired mouse is going to be the fact that you're tethered but other than that you know there's not really much of a downside of a wired mouse compared to wireless. Now, the next thing that most people are gonna want to focus on is the shape. Now, depending on what kind of grip style you use while you're using your mouse, certain mice are gonna be better for that than others. Also, depending on the size of your hand, certain mice are gonna work better. So I have really large palms and regular sized fingers. So a lot of mice are very uncomfortable for me. They feel very small and my hand will typically drag on the mouse pad and not be fully contacting the mouse. Because of this, I've tried many, many mice over the years. I've used a lot of mice over the years. I've had a lot of experience with different ones. And, you know, certain shapes have worked really well. Like, I really love the Death Adder shape, but unfortunately, Razer's quality assurance over the years has not been great, especially in my situations. And my Death Adder died within two years, which kind of sucked. So there are three main grip styles. There's a palm grip, a claw grip, and a fingertip grip. I'm typically more of a palm grip person, so I do like a mouse that has a larger shell, uh, typically a little bit wider, and because I have those big palms, wider is very important for me. Now, a really great resource for figuring out what kind of size mice is best for your hands, Rocket Jump Ninja actually has a great table on his website that allows you to look at the size uh, of each mouse, and he basically does a measurement system uh, based on the size of your hand, he ranks the mice small, medium, large, extra large. And this is a really, really great tool that you can use. You can measure your own hand, figure out which of those sizes um, match with his table, and you can go out and kind of sort and filter for only the ones that are meant to fit your hand. So also to tag onto shape is ergonomics. Now there are certain mice that are designed to be specifically ergonomic, like my Logitech MX Ergo. There's also a lot of vertical mice. There's a lot of Ergo focused mice out there. They're not gonna be great for gaming, but they're great for productivity. And if you're using your mouse for most of the day, they are something that you might wanna look at if you are experiencing wrist pain or fatigue. Now, another thing to consider is button layouts. If you're typically playing FPS games, then having you know the regular left, right click, middle mouse, and maybe two thumb buttons is pretty standard and a pretty good amount of buttons for you. You're not really gonna need much more than that. Some people who play MMOs or MOBAs really like having a mouse that has a ton of buttons on there because then they get a lot more options. They don't have to take their hand off the mouse at all. They don't have to move their hand too far around the keyboard. They can have everything very simple, very easy to get to. Uh, there aren't too many mice that are like super loaded with buttons, but there are a good, you know, focused set of a few that work really well for that. So if that's something you want, then take a look at those. 
And finally, for button layouts, if you're going to be using your mouse for a lot of productivity things like video editing, you know, Excel work, all that kind of things, certain mice can have some great buttons and scroll wheels on them that can help make that a lot easier, kind of like what I have on my Logitech MX Master. And finally, the topic of weight, which we mentioned earlier. Ultralight mice have become very popular recently, and they're much more popular when looking at FPS games. Now, I've been using an ultralight mouse while I play FPS games, and I really enjoy it. I have the Glorious Model D. It's a great mouse, and it's what I've really been enjoying. The shape is great. Um, the weight is nice, and I really enjoy how it feels in my hand. However, when I'm not playing FPS games, I prefer using my Logitech MX Master. So it is quite a bit heavier than my uh, Glorious Model D. It's actually more than double the weight but I really enjoy the way that feels in my hand while I'm doing more productive workloads. And because I'm not whipping my mouse around as quickly, that weight doesn't really bother me, and it actually feels a lot more comfortable. Now to finish things off, some good recommendations for mice to look at. First things first, one of the most popular wireless mouse right now is the Logitech G Pro X Superlight. It has the benefit of being wireless and having the ultralight uh, feature set. It's only 60 grams, which is pretty nice but it is a you know medium sized mouse. So if you have larger hands, this one's not gonna work as well for you. The Death Adder, as much as I don't enjoy Razer's quality assurance over the years, has probably one of the best shapes out of any mouse that I've ever personally used. And there's also a mini version for people with smaller hands. Now a mouse that I used for a very long time that is a great mouse and has lasted you know the test of time and it has adjustable weights, and a good feature set of buttons is the Logitech G502. Now, the nice thing is you can also get the Logitech G502 in a wireless version as well. So if that's something that you're looking at and you're really interested in it, you can get it wired or wireless, whichever one fits your needs. If you want something very good for a budget, the Logitech G305 is probably gonna be one of your best options. I actually use the G305 with my laptop and I throw it in my bag. It's a great little you know, travel wireless mouse, very inexpensive. You can often get it on sale for a very good price. And they've also got quite a few colors, so you can kind of you know, show off a little bit of your personality with the color of your mouse. There are a ton of mice out there and it'd be hard to cover them all in this video. So what I did was I created a recommendation list that I'm throwing on my new website that I just put up this week. So you can go ahead and check it out in the recommendation list. I will leave a link down in the description below for that. And that's it. I really hope that this video helped you choose the mouse that fits your hand the best and your needs. If it did, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe buttons. If you want to be notified of the future videos, I'm going to be doing keyboards, headphones, and microphones going forward. So hit that bell icon so you can be notified of when those go live. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below and I will try to get to them all as quickly as possible. Big thanks to my patron sponsors, Step Back, Thought Slime, and Rojo Son of Dojo. And thank you for watching the end of the video. As always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.